Before this video begins, I'd quickly like to apologise for the quality throughout this episode. For some reason, after I installed some of my new mods, all of the sounds were really bugged out and very loud in some parts. So some parts my microphone will be very quiet and you won't be able to hear me. Some parts the game sound will be so loud you won't be able to hear me also. So apologies for that. In the future, I'll try and make this better and make it completely high quality throughout. Anyway, let's get on with this episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Core here. Welcome back to another episode. This is episode number 9 of the Misfits SMP. Now you may notice we are not starting off on the Misfits server. That is because we recently changed over to 1.20, which is absolutely awesome and it means we've got a bunch of new stuff to do. So me being me and wanting to be super helpful and also very, very successful on the server, we today, peeps, are going to be setting up a shop for all of the brand new smithing templates. And when I say all of these, I mean all of these. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with actually designing this thing. Alrighty guys, we are here in a 1.20 snapshot world. And you can see I have made a shop. So as you can see in here, we've got a bunch of buttons on the wall. A bunch of really complicated looking interfaces and some things around the back here this is all very simple each of these modules here each of these lines indicate to the player a different type of armor trim or upgrade template whatever it is so this one could be a tide this one could be a spine or spire whatever it is and this one could be a your silence template right each one is individual what we've got here is an indicator to tell you what is selected so you can see if we select a different one that one will turn off and it will say that this one is selected up at the top we've got the stock lights so if the light is on then it is in stock if not it is out of stock so you can see this one is currently in stock so we're gonna select this one now for testing purposes this one here I have just put a bunch of different items in in the future, these will be the smithing templates. However, at the moment, this is where the placeholder items are so that I can do testing. So at the moment, the set price for anything in the shop is 25 diamonds. This is because every bit of stock that I have to do is going to be replicated using seven diamonds. And along that, I took a lot of time and effort in getting all of them in the first place. Some of them took many hours to actually obtain. So what we've got here is the payment in the back. So you will put your 25 diamonds in the floor. And if you put other items in, it won't work. But after a couple moments, when all of those diamonds have filtered through, we should hear some clicking and the item should make its way down to here, which is awesome. So that will be our smithing template, whatever it is that we have selected. Now for anyone who is interested, I will briefly explain it. If not, skip to this timestamp on screen and you'll get past the nerdy stuff. All right, so for those of you who are actually cool, um, we have got you here now and I've got your attention. So we take an input from the shulker box. It goes down and gets filtered. So anything that isn't diamond will end up in this chest. Anything that is a diamond will end up in this chest. Now, when 25 diamonds are placed in here, it will give an output which is stronger than a signal strength of 2, which means that this can turn on. So only when 25 diamonds are in here, this will output. If there are any less, then it won't output and you will have just wasted 24 diamonds or whatever it is that you put in. When 25 are put in, it will begin draining this chest. However, there is a diamond filter here to make sure that none of the preset stone, which accounts for the rest of the signal strength, gets drained. The profit diamonds will end up in this chest down here. You can see I've already done two tests, hence why there's 50. Um, but also, when there are 25 diamonds in the chest, it will send, send a single pulse up. And that will activate all of these repeaters here. Now, the one that is selected will be the one where the piston is pushed up. And only that one will be pushed up, which means the signal can go through the block and activate said dropper. When that gets dispensed, it will push it into this stream here and go into some auto droppers here which means that the item will fall down 
onto this shulker box. And there you have it, a full loop of the system. And just to show you, when I do press this button here, you should see that the block changes, meaning that the signal cannot go to this one anymore. It will only go to this one here, which happens to be out of stock. But yeah, you can see the redstone for this is kind of simple. Um, I wish I could compact it a little more, but I just... It's a lot of effort to do that sort of thing. But anyway, thanks for being cool. Let's get on with the next part of this video. All right, without any further ado, let's stop the messing around and we will get this built on the Misfits SMP. As of recording this on the 11th of June, peeps, yesterday I streamed the first stream of 1.20. Um, and we worked on getting all of these. Now, this isn't enough. This is three, four, five, six, seven out of like 18 or something. There are a, a bunch of ones that I need to get. Once we get all these peeps, um, I have a feeling we should be pretty easy from there. The plan is to stock the shop with 10 of each template. These things cost seven diamonds per item, which is gonna be ridiculous to stock up. Um, and if I, let's say, stock a stack of each, then that is a massive waste of diamonds for me. So what I'm going to do now, peeps, is I am going to go live on twitch.tv slash coregamer101 or YT. And we will go and grab the rest of these templates live. Alrighty, guys. We had a very good stream last night. I actually ended up getting like five more templates than I had before I started streaming. We found, we got really lucky and we found a, um, whatever the ruin things are called, underground. Um, and we found a load of shirts, we found a sniffer egg, we found all of these templates. And then later on, we found these in a desert temple, and we found these in a woodland mansion chest. And I was so close to not looting that chest, it was ridiculous. But you may be like, hey Core, there is still a significant amount missing from here. And you, my friend, are right. After stream, I continued on for quite some time, and we have found the rarest one. And then this one, I killed like 50 Elder Guardians or something ridiculous to get. My luck was really bad. Um, but we have now got all of these templates, which is absolutely awesome. So if my math is correct, we should have 17 of these guys, which we don't. So I'm going to quickly count my list up and see what we're missing. We're missing a snout template. There it is. I've just checked like every one of these shulkers and barrels. <laughs> But there we go, we now have 17 of these guys. Next, I wanna make every one of these have 10. Now that, my friend, is gonna use a ridiculous amount of diamonds. I need to quickly do the calculations and then we will go take them from the vault. So peeps, um, I 100% know that I've done that math wrong, but it is 1,083 diamonds. So that means we're gonna need 120 diamond blocks. <sighs> We will head down into the vault. We will open the vault up. And we will start excavating. So remember this site, peeps. We need to take 120 blocks from this, which is kind of ridiculous. We need a stack and 56 of these guys. Definitely makes me a little sad to see these go. But also, I know that the math is wrong, so I will end up putting some back a little later. Alright, that is two... No, ooh, goodness, don't leave that out for... Jeez. A stack and 56 diamond blocks, and the vault looks considerably emptier. So we'll close all this up, and yes, I'm aware it is em more empty instead of emptier. Duh. But now, my friends, we will start replicating all of that. And what better than a first-person time-lapse? I'll make it super quick. And I will label up in the top left so you can see what I'm crafting. Because I'm aware it will be very fast. Alright. Three, two, one. Super fast crafty mode!
Okay, people. So, we have gotten as far as we can in respect to this. Um, I do intend to... I need to take one of each type of block with me that you use to craft. So, if you don't know, the way you replicate these is you take... Let's take the, uh, the snout, for example, because it's fairly obvious what that uses with the colour and the, the, the snout theming. You would take seven diamonds and a piece of blackstone. So, we'll take each one of the respective blocks. You may notice that we have quite a lot missing still. Now, this is because the eye and the spire require endstone and purple, which I don't have. So what we'll need to do, peeps, is we'll need to take all of this stuff over toward the end dimension before we can even think about stocking these up. You know, all of this searching for armor trims has... That is the un most unlucky thing ever. Are you kidding me? Wow. As I was saying, all of this search for armor trims has made me question which armor trims I would like to personally rock. So as I'm fighting these, you will see a picture on your screen. These are all of the different shapes that you can make with all of the armor trims. I'm going to go with the boots of the dune. I'm going to go with the helmet of possibly silence. Either silence or... Silence or snout helmet. And I think I'll be going with the tied legs. Now because these are so expensive peeps, I'm going to hop into creative in a moment and we will test out the different combinations that I can rock. You may notice I've not mentioned a chest plate. And while I might use a chest plate, sometimes I am more seen on the server with a light on. Just in the shopping district, as you can see right now, and I am looking for a space where I can put the new armor trim shop. Now I think what we'll do, peeps, is end up putting it over here. I think this is a good spot for it, so I'm going to start gathering some materials, and I will see you shortly. As you've probably just seen, we have got all of the materials except some. And all that happens now is I need to smelt up all of this stone and we should be ready. Thanks to this awesome smelter, which you can see me build in the last episode of the Misfit series, we can smelt this super, super fast. And we've also got all of this fuel here, which is super, super cool and super fun to harvest, of course, with our really cool flying machines. A little bit of a lag spike when this runs, but <laughs> it's worth it. So guys, we're going to do this time lapse in two parts. Well, for me, for one, it will be you in one completely seamless thing. Um, in fact, it's going to be three parts for me. First of all, I've got to dig out an area that surrounds it to build the thing. And then I've got a terrain around it. And as you just saw in game chat there, yes, I do intend to help Foster move a portal to the far side of the island. So... Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Voss has got a shop over this part of the island and I thought it could be cool to give it a more integrated portal. Yeah, he seems to be tearing that down, but what I'm thinking, guys, is down here, Voss has built this nice little pier and I think right here would make a really cool place for a portal. So I've prepped up some stuff and I think I'll just pop some chisel down there and then right behind here and add a real sweet nether portal. Just a nice little 3x3 three three here I think would be absolutely awesome. So if we just do that and then I guess the rest of it can just be patched up with smooth zone, seeing as I've got a lot of that on me. I think that will look super neat when it is lit but um, neither of us have a flint and steel so. Alright then peeps, I am gonna start on this here so grab a drink, grab some popcorn, you should be hearing some music right about now. We're gonna get into this awesome time lapse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy!
Before we stock these up peeps, let's hop into that creative world and we will test out what armor trims we want to rock. So the problem with me on my skin is that my eyes are red. Meaning that if I use, let's say, the Spire armor trim on my helmet, Spire does not look bad at all. My point was, peeps, that certain of some of these armor pieces blend my eyes in with my armor. I don't want them to be a blend, I want them to kind of just complement it. So one of the other options was the silence trim. I think the silence trim is super cool. We should be viewing it on an armor stand. So my other thoughts were tied leggings. I think the tied, the tied leggings are super cool. And then, of course, the wayfinder boots so another one that looks cool on here is the wayfinder helmet however again it kind of looks like it blends in potentially a little bit too much i don't know i certainly prefer the red band here we are with shaders peeps let me get in the light this looks absolutely awesome and i feel like a warrior now that i've got <laughs> red on my armor it's blood, Ugh, parrot blood. That's that's lore accuracy right there. Anyway, let's get into game and we will put this armor on. All right, my friends, we are going to use. In fact, we're going to recopy the templates we're going to use. We need wayfinder, spire, and of course tide. So tide, we just need to copy one more of, and same with wayfair. Wayfinder, oh my god. This isn't an advert for Wayfair, I promise. Okay, we've got our three templates, and all that's left now is to clone up these I ones. Should be nice and easy. Alright, there we go. We've got ten of each, as well as our armor trims, and we're now going to go ahead and make them. On the helmet, we wanted Spire, and we're going to use Redstone for that. On the leggings, we're going to use Tide. And on the boots, we're going to use Wayfinder. And now, my friends, I look super cool. Oh my god, it looks amazing. And when I'm holding redstone and my totem, oh my god, I look so cool. All right, next, peeps, is going to be to stock all of these up, which is going to be quite a challenge. So I think for the rest on this side, we'll go Mossy Cobble, Purple, and Stone. Now, there is one spot here, but that's just because at the moment there are 17 armor trims in the game. Alright, it is really cool to see all of these lights turn on inside. That's really, really nice to see. Um, I totally forgot to pay for my land, so I will do that right now. There you go. But other than that, peeps, we have got a tiny amount of stuff to do here. Just like this. And suddenly, everything looks super freaking cool anyway peeps that is it for today's episode if you made it this far in the video that is amazing thank you for stopping by this much it really means a lot and just so that i can specially thank you leave a comment below saying cookies and you can be part of the super secret club that no one else knows about because they already left the video too early but <laughs> anyway i thank you so much for watching it would be really appreciated if you could let me know that you're still enjoying the series by smashing that like button and hitting the subscribe button down below but other than that i will see you in the next video goodbye